See, now you got me caught up in a crime. What if there's a foot in there? You cut off somebody's foot, you put it in a box, then you gave it to me because you're trying to frame me for whatever messed up stuff you got going on with somebody's foot. Let's normalize minding our business. See, you see how I just did that? You have to think. People don't think. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Heart. Is the heart hurting? Is the heart hurting? Happy Halloween! Or whatever day I post this. Right, right, right. Today I'm wearing devil horns, obviously, because we about to get in some demonic. You feel me? So, um, we have a black cat in the back. Um, I was trying to get spooky. It's more so kind of cute. But we we move, we move, we we progress. Anyway, so today we will be reacting to the spookiest, the scariest, the most terrifying TikToks out there. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all I got. Let's get into it. Um, happy spooky season, all that fun stuff. Period. Check your candy. Check your candy. Jesus Christ, I feel like kids don't check their candy no more. Really, I feel like kids don't trick or treat no more. That's like a conversation for like a whole nother day. Cause the streets on Halloween night be vacant. Kids these days ain't fun no more. Like I used to be on the streets. I'm telling you. This is why you should always make sure you're home alone. One day, two police officers are sitting in their car waiting for their next call. They pull over a couple cars, but nothing unusual. A couple hours later, they get a call saying a woman feels like there is somebody in her house and she is hiding. The police, thinking it's some sort of home invasion, begin to rush to the scene. They pull up to the house and notice all of their lights are off and the doors are closed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Back up. And I'm not even paying attention for it. That's my fault. But like, did he just say? This is why you should stay at home is wait. Did he say this is why you should stay home alone or this is why you should not stay home alone? Because quite frankly, I'm home by myself right now. I'm a, I'm a little nervous. Hello? what I thought. Just had to make sure nobody was trying to test me. You feel me? Begin to try and open the door, but the door is locked. They decided to be quicker if they just bust a window and enter the scene. They busted the window and begin searching. One officer says, I'll search the left of the house and you search the right. And they both agree. The officer on the right finds a bathroom door that is cracked. We need to stop splitting up. Officers, please stop splitting up. This is not, this is not Scooby-Doo. This is not Mystery Incorporated. You're not finding no Scooby snacks. This is real life. Can we please stick together? That's why I can't be no officer because can we stick together, friend? I'm scared. I'm a bit nervous. I'm a bit nervous. As he's opening it, he hears scratching and a faint whispering in the bedroom. He stops what he's doing and opens the door to the room. He pulls out his weapon and aims it at the closet and said, whoever's in there, come out now. He opens the door and finds nothing. At the same time, the officer to the left says, I found her, the house is clear. So all the dramatics for what? All the dramatics for who? For why? Now the scratching, wait! If I was an officer, I'm just going to mind my business and go home, to be honest with you. I mean, it's really none of my business. I'm really just here because you call. You know, you feel me? So, I'm not I'm not trying to win a play of the month. I'm here to do my job. You cool, I'm going home. That's it. I'm going, I'm, the scratching stuff is not my business. You might got mice, to be honest. It might just be mice. Or, if you really dirty, it might be really fat roaches. I I'm just be honest with you. Yo, it's 2020. How do we still not know who this is? Jack the Ripper haunted the Whitechapel District of London from 1888 to 91, killing up to 11 women and terrorizing the community. He mailed letters and sometimes body parts to the local newspaper, once stating, here's a liver. I'm sorry, but homie on the top right here, just cut the rest of your hair off. That's just, is that too much? No, I'm, just, I'm going, I'm saying what we're all thinking. Cut the rest of your hair off. I don't think this is, is this, that's not what Jack looked like. It doesn't matter. Cut, cut the rest of your hair off. I feel like you you trying to hold on to something that's not there. And then how is the hair on top receding and you got a full beard plus mustache that's connected? Just cut the rest of your hair off and rock the beard. But really, you seem like you might be a little thrown off anyway. So I'm going to just leave you alone. What, you know, you like it. I love it, Fran. You like it. I love it. I fried and ate the other one. Because his victims were disfigured and often missing organs from their body, it was clear that the killer was highly skilled in human anatomy. Despite developments in crime technology, he evaded police and was never identified. What did you do with the or? Well, I mean, that's really none of my business, to be honest, but that doesn't make any sense. I just, Jack, Mr. Ripper, um, just leave me alone, to be honest. That's all I got. That's all I got. Also, wasn't there a character for the girls that watch anime on Attack on Titan? Wasn't there a character called Jack the Ripper? Or am I tripping? I swear there was a... 
Moving on, moving on, moving on. Here's a terrifying true ghost story. Two sisters were staying at a very old historic hotel in the middle of nowhere in Montana. The hotel had been- Let me stop you right there. Why would you stay there? I guess, I guess the funds was low. The funds was low. I'ma let it go. The funds was low. The funds was low. I get it. I get it, Fran. Me too. Me too. Been around since the 1800s. It was one of the sisters' favorite hotels and they've been multiple times. Okay, so the funds weren't low. One of y'all just stupid. Okay. Okay, I don't get that as much, but all right. However, the other sister couldn't sleep because all she heard was someone walking around upstairs on hardwood floors, pacing around the room. In the morning, I asked my sister how she could have slept through it, and she told me that above, it used to be a ballroom where people used to dance, but now it was carpeted and empty. There was no hardwood floors. I asked the hotel staff, and then that's when they confirmed that there was nobody up there, and if there was, I wouldn't have heard high heels on hardwood floors. What was the picture at the end for? Okay, scratch that. I'm not even going. I'm not even going to get into that too much. But this is what happened when you don't mind your business. That's all I'm going to say. That happened. This is what happened when you don't mind your business. What's that upstairs? Forget that. While you upstairs wondering, you still slept there? No. See, once I get to hearing something, and once that intuition get to be like, oh, yeah, I don't think, friend, I don't think, I'm going home. Why don't nobody want to go home? Nobody ever wants to go home. This is why you should be careful what you put in the mail. In 2015, a man was asked by his neighbor to collect his mail while he was gone for a few weeks. A few days later, a large package arrives on his neighbor's front porch. The man can barely lift it, but gets over to his garage where he accidentally drops it and hears something break inside. Hoping his neighbor would think the damage occurred en route, he closes his squeaky garage door and forgets about it. But over the next couple of days, whatever was in that package started to smell so bad that he decides to open it up. Inside were two very important finds. Oh my God, why does he look just like Michael Jackson? Rest in peace, Michael. I am so sorry. You know what I'm saying? He, he, all that fun stuff. But um, why does he look just like him? That's crazy. Sidebar, sidebar to that. Um, one, this is, okay. I Like how we just said, nobody want to go home. Why can't nobody mind their business? It stink. Put the box outside and just be like, hey, and then text your neighbor, hey, friend, come get this because I don't want to do this no more. But... That's it. We, we, let's, let's normalize and let's, let's band together to all mind our business. Thank you. You don't need, why you need to watch his mail for him? Why can't he do that by himself? He ain't got no, he ain't got no family that can do that. I don't want to do that. Cause now, see, now you got me caught up in a crime. What if there's a foot in there? You cut off somebody's foot, you put it in a box, then you gave it to me cause you're trying to frame me for whatever messed up stuff you got going on with somebody's foot. Let's normalize minding our business. See, you see how I just did that? You have to think. People don't think his neighbor who was dead and a camera that was still recording. The police bring the man in for questioning and show him what was on the camera inside the box. It starts with his neighbor talking to the camera about how excited he is to mail himself home for his YouTube channel. Then police fast forward to the very end where they see that the neighbor is now sleeping in the box and then suddenly gets dropped and you hear a crack. And that's I'm sorry, one, the picture is disturbing. The pictures you're picking are disturbing. I'm sorry, I don't, first it was Michael, now it's, I don't know who this is. I don't know who this is and I don't know why you use his picture. I don't know why you're trying to be funny with Fran picture, but um, take this down right now. Second, I told you it had something to do with some body part. I told y'all, see that's what I'm saying. See, y'all don't think I'm 12 steps ahead. This is neck breaking. And then you hear a squeaky garage door close. I'm just going to say that I told y'all so. Thank you. It wasn't a foot. It was worse than a foot. But like I said, <laughs> Detective Ange here, she gonna solve the case, period. Urban legends to haunt you, the kidney heist. A man decided to go out one night on a date. He hadn't been out in a long time and he was really excited to meet this beautiful girl that he had met online. Nothing seemed out of the ordinary and he even paid for a dinner. He thought it was going great. However, the next day he thought maybe he just had too much to drink and he woke up in a bathtub. Don't drink with strangers. Don't drink with strangers. Don't drink with strangers. I don't know who needed to hear that. Don't drink with strangers. Don't do drugs with strangers. Mama always said if you're going to do drugs, bring your own drugs. Th don't do drugs, but I'm just saying if you do, bring your own. You know what I'm saying. Especially a don't drink with nobody you met online. Oh my God. I don't know who need to hear that, but I'm telling you that way you don't make the same mistake. I'm going to assume, because you know I'm on my law and order stuff right now. I'm going to assume the lady took his kidneys. Am I wrong? 
I'm not, let's see. But then he was looking around and noticed that he was surrounded by ice. As he starts waking up and coming to his senses, he begins freaking out. He notices one of his kidneys are gone. Called it, I told you. Thank you. Mm. You see this in Chuck E. Cheese? You need to leave immediately. So many of Let's start with why we're in Chuck E. Cheese. We're too big for that. I'm so sorry. And sometimes when I drive past it, I'd be like, why is this still open? If Toys R Us is gone, then Chuck E. Cheese needs to go too. Why can't the kids go like Dave and Buster's and stuff now? We're too big. We're too big. Even little kids is too big. Like, there's no more Chuck E. Cheese kids. It's over. It's over. Why are we still there? The workers at Chuck E. Cheese were reporting that these animatronics are coming alive by itself. Now, never go to- Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's could have told you that. I'm telling you, I just feel like a lot of things are preventable now because why are we still going to Chuck E. Cheese? Like, girl, we know better. You know better. When you was little, littler, littler, and you was going in there, and you was like, oh- it's weird that Chucky kind of followed me with his eyes or something like that. You knew what you knew back in the day. So for you to grow up, take your kids, I just feel like, see, why can't, why doesn't nobody ever want to go home or stay home? Chuck E. Cheese during the late night. If you don't see these animatronics on this stage and they're off, please run for your life. Many of the workers say that these robots come alive at night and have been taking children from their parents. Why are we going to Chuck E. Cheese at night? Chuck E. Cheese should close at like six. Like anything later than that, why your kids should be in a bed. Like, what are we talking about right now? What are we talking about? These TikTokers accidentally found a body. There's a popular app right now on TikTok called Randonautica that sends you to random locations in your area. Some people find random a Why would you download that? Oh my God, wow, so many, so many things are so preventable. You know what I'm saying? Why would you download an app that just sends you to some random location? That doesn't make any sense to me. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. That sounds like the beginning of a horror movie. That sounds like stupid. That's what that's what that that sounds stupid. And in places, some people even found random weird things in the forest. These group of teens were led to a suitcase. But the thing is, when they opened the suitcase, it was a dead body inside. Wait, open it. <laughs> it stinks up. When they opened the suitcase with a stick, it had a horrible stench. Later calling the cops who confirmed there was dead body parts inside. Why can't y'all mind? Why can't we just mind our business? And then why would you film it? You're weird. You're weird, one. Two. Okay, you're weird for all of this. I'm not even gonna hold you. The whole thing is weird. It's really stupid. It's odd. It's odd. And whoever left that body there, when they find out that you was tampering with, they're coming for you next. So really, let's normalize going home and minding our business. Y'all don't do that enough for me. This is why you should always trust your gut. In the early 1970s, a college student decided to hitchhike his way home after class. A car pulls up, a man offers him a ride, and he climbs in. As soon as the car started moving, the student felt totally uneasy, like something was wrong, but he couldn't quite place it. You wanna know what's wrong, friend? You're inside some stranger's car. Okay, I get Uber wasn't around then, but I don't even, like, how do you even find yourself hitchhiking, to be honest? You should have stayed at home. See, I'm telling y'all. Y'all like, oh, I'm bored. Better bored and safe than like adventurous and in the trunk of some grown man car. Thank you. Without saying anything, he waited till the next time they slowed down and he flung the door open and ran away. Two years later, he's flicking through TV channels when he comes across this special interview with a death row inmate. And it's just the audio recording. So he hears the interviewer ask the inmate, why did you remove all the door handles inside of your car? The man just goes, well, the first time I tried to kill so- Oh my God, it's Michael again. Why can't y'all let that man rest? Why he like Michael too? <laughs> Michael, I swear to God, please do not haunt me. I'm just, I'm just saying that he kind of, a little bit, not too, come on now. Someone, I picked up a college hitchhiker who got smart at some point and jumped out of my car. So lesson learned, remove all the door handles. When they showed his picture, the student knew immediately that he was supposed to be the first victim of John Wayne Gacy, AKA the killer clown who had killed over 30 men and boys in his clown room and stuffed them into his basement. Shout out to you. To be honest, you better, you better thank the good Lord Jesus Christ that you made it that day, cause ain't no way. If someone calls out your name at night, you might not want to answer after watching this. As a kid, I was- Why would I want to answer in the first place? If I'm sleeping in my bed and I know I'm here by myself and somebody says, oh, yeah. 
either I'm losing my mind or something's not sitting right and I'm pulling out the pepper spray on my keys. That's how I feel. I told stories about the legend of the night caller. And it was believed that if someone calls out your name in the middle of the night and you respond, a demon would appear out of nowhere and take you away. According to lore, a young girl stayed up late in her room when she heard her mom call out to her. The voice was so faint that she stopped what she was doing to listen closely. And again, she heard her mom's voice calling out to her. She responded and almost immediately, her door, which was already closed, slowly opened and someone was standing at the foot of the door. It was dark and she couldn't make out the features of this person, but he had the form of her mom. The shadow figure then asked the girl to follow her. Thinking it was her mom, she got up and followed. The next day, a search began, but the little girl was never found. Coincidentally, most of the kids in the neighborhood claimed that they heard a voice. Who is the, the picture behind you? The picture behind you. We have to stop with the pictures. We have to. Their teeth is white. I will give them that. They must be using like Crest, Colgate, mouthwash, the Crest kind, the blue one, whatever. Right? Fine. Also, if the demon were to take me, where are we going? That's like, you want to take me for what? Like, I just, you know, just, just to really think, you trying to take me, where are we going? Like, I don't, I, you know, I got, I got work, I got work to do in the morning, and I'm saying my mom is expecting me for dinner tomorrow night. Where are we going? Out to dinner, the club? Like, you, you finna feed me? Like, what's going on? Like, where are you taking me? That's the, that's the question. Forget all the extra stuff. Where are we going? To call out to them that same night, but they were too scared to answer. And that is why. Love the cliffhanger. Love that. Love that. These are the strangest things that have ever been caught on camera. This video shows what appears to be a dark humanoid type creature crawling towards a bunch of boys playing soccer. Once the kids see it, they immediately run away in terror. Nobody knows for sure what this animal was, but many people claim that it was the South American mythical beast known as the Palm Barrow. This next video was taken- It kind of looks like a monkey, or like a possum, or a raccoon. So, if I saw a possum, I would run too. You know? Yeah. And at the funeral of a seven-year-old girl, it shows one of the balloons that was next to her coffin somehow floating directly to her crying mother in the audience. Many people believe that this was the girl trying to comfort her mother from the grave. It's sad. I don't know why that made me sad. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Wow. No. That probably, well, probably was it to be honest. Wow, that made me sad. Wow. No crying in the club, Anya. Jesus Christ. The picture behind me might look like a normal photo, but it's actually one of the most sinister, real-life haunted photos in history. Taken by a professional photographer in 1972 as guests arrived for a wedding, everything in this picture looks happy and normal. Who is, who, why are you wearing a, a, a big, thick mink coat with the fur around the hood to a wedding? Maybe I don't get the fashion of the time, but even, the, I just don't think that was ever cool. I don't, why would you wear that? Where y'all live, the tundra? Alaska? Girl, take the coat off. Take the coat off. But if you take a closer look at the man standing in black, you'll see something odd. You can actually see somebody in white crouching behind the man. It's probably a kid. Probably his son. Okay. All four of the people in the picture said that there was no one behind them when it was taken. The photographer said the same thing and that it would be impossible for someone to crouch behind them without him seeing them. How do you know? Was you there? Who asked them? What are we talking about? Y'all be making stuff up. Oh, the people in the picture said there was nobody there. This picture looks real old. Did you talk to one? Shut up. Oh my God. And I'm just, I'm really just being douchebaggy, but like, like, bro, anyway. This is a better picture where you can actually see the guy's legs and then in the top you can see his eyes. The picture was even examined by police photographers and they confirmed that it was genuine. All right. Um, that was the last one. I'm not even gonna hold you. People will make anything up. I don't know why it really just looked like it was probably a kid behind you. I'm not even gonna hold you. There's nobody back there. How do you know? You know them? Was you taking a picture? Oh, police analyzed it and said that. Shut up. Shut up. Stop it. Stop. Get some help. Um, anyway, yeah. So happy Halloween. You know what I'm saying? Go out there, do some tricking, get some treats. You feel me? But me personally, after watching this video, you know where I'm finna be? In here minding my business. And at home, minding my business. Okay, probably my mama house, so I'll be by myself, but like. In my house, in a house, minding my business. That's what I'm finna do. That's what you should do, unless you're tricking or treating. Period. But yeah, um, yeah, that's what I watched today's video. Don't forget to create your own happiness, and I'll see you the next time we decide to celebrate Halloween in the best spookiest fashion with this little kid headband. I swear to God, I got this out the child section at Walmart, and it's and it's amazing that it fit on my fat head. Anyway, bye. I love you. Mwah.